Hi Speechies, it's Lisa and Zahra and welcome back to Speech Fairies. So here we have the game Pop Rocket, catch the most stars to win for ages four and up and it's for two to four players. This one is a Goliath game that I found at Walmart a while back but we never opened it. Pop Rocket instructions. So for contents we have the rocket, the big star, 40 small stars, 12 star catchers, 4 colored sets, and 4 constellations and 1 die. The object of the game is to collect 6 stars to fill the constellation. So for setup, each player picks a color and places 3 star catchers upside down in front of them. These are star catchers. And then here we have a blank die. And here are the stickers, so I'm going to put the stickers on. A little piece of tape covering the star popper. So I just pushed it down, it's ready to go. Comes with little arms, so I'm gonna put those on the rocket. There we go. Put a little fire too. Let's put some put a timer. There's a little flame. And there that little star is gonna pop up. These are the constellations. We have to pop out these little stars. I'm gonna do it. Okay, they're made of cardboard. And then they go inside the little compartment at the top. The other thing is you can make other stars or buy something that might still work and still pop out. They have to be light, like cardboard, to pop high. Okay, so in our, the way that the game is set up, it says to put them all in the top of the rocket and close it but for me for speech and language i would make them earn the stars either by saying the word star or using the word star in a sentence for s plans or using other stim cards for whatever goal you want and then they can earn the stars to fill the rocket zara's going to fill the rocket right now and pretend that we've done all of our turns and we have earned all of our stars so she has the blue and the green constellation, and I have the yellow and the red. It comes with this little dice, and you're supposed to roll to see what symbol you get. I'm just going to give you a close-up of the symbols on the instructions. So if you get the little cup, you get to flip over a cup and get it into gameplay. The second one is you can move your cup to see if you can get better star catching action. And the third one is to steal a star from another star holder. So there's three different things, symbols on the dice. And the whole idea is to catch as many stars as you can that will match your colors. And these are the star catchers, which are upside down to start. So I will have the red and the yellow. And Zara will have the green and the blue. But right now in the gameplay, they're upside down. So it actually tells you to pull the fuse now to start the countdown and it takes about a minute to, so the idea of the game is to move fast and roll and flip over your cups. Speech and language, we have to slow things down a little bit so I would not pull the fuse until we had done some turns. So make sure we get our speech and language targets in. Again, I would have to modify this a little. Once that timer goes, the kids are not going to go do any work. Let's try it for a bit and see how we would play. So, I'll go first, or do you want to go? So that means I can move the cup. That's not going to help me because they're still upside down. Okay. Sure you say my turn. Okay. That was a good one. That was uh, flip the cup. I got flip the cup, so I'm going to flip a blue one. And put it in a place you think where the stars will land. My turn. I got move a cup, so that's not gonna help me. Let's put our cups over here. So we're yeah. Okay. I got flip the cup or move the cup, so I think I'll just move it here. There. My turn. Oops, I got a cup. So I can flip the cup. So I'll have that time. I'm gonna flip a yellow cup. My turn. A star. So that's for steel star, but we don't have any yet. My turn. Flip another cup. I'm going to do a different color. Move a cup. My turn. Get a cup. Get a cup. There's no air. Move a cup. 
my turn. Get a cup. I'm gonna have all my bases covered. Hey, can't do that. That's my turn. I can. I want to make sure I catch as most stars. Hand me the dice, young lady. Take my turn. Move a cup. I'm gonna move mine. Wait, can I move someone else's? I might take your spot. No, you can't move someone else's. <laughs> I'm gonna move my. You're in a good spot. There. Moved it. My turn. I got cup. Normally you'd be in a table where you could put things around him and behind him because stars are gonna go behind him as well, but because we have our backdrop up, we can only put them in front of him. Your turn. Move a cup. Mm, I don't really want to. Do I have to? I'll put it over here. There you go. It's a star one. Star means roll again until we get the stars. So I'm gonna roll the dice. I got move a cup, so I'm just gonna move the cup that much. My turn. Get another cup. I'm gonna get the yellow and put take my spot back. Here you go. I got put another cup and put mine right here. Your so turn. I have nothing left to do except move cups. And that's what I got. Move a cup, so I'm just gonna move it over to the middle here. Place a cup. I'm gonna place mine here. Your turn. My turn. Move a cup. I'm gonna move this one. I got put a cup. So I'm gonna put my mouth with it. Right there. My turn. I got get a cup, but I don't have any more cups to get. So I don't do anything on my turn. Here you go. I got get a cup, so I'm gonna put mine in the last place. What if blue what if some blue ones land over here? Shouldn't you spread them out of it? Good idea. There you go. Now it's time to pull the fuse. We're gonna do a very short one because we want, if we wanna do it again, then we don't wanna wait a whole minute. You have no idea how far it's gonna go. This could get pretty messy. Wow. <laughs> only a few landed on the floor. So we only get to keep the ones that landed in our cups. So we can start to gather up our cups and see if we have any matching colors. Ooh, that was a good one. I got a red and a yellow in this cup. So I can put it in my constellation. But I can't take the ones off the table. Only the ones that landed in the cups. I have four blue ones in one cup. Wow, that was lucky. This is the chunky little star that goes inside and the popper, and then you can put them back down again. And the kids can say, I found a star, and then put it back in. The ones that landed on the table and the floor can go back in the rocket. And whoever completes the constellation first. Oh, I got a yellow one in my red cup, but I'll take that because I'm using. I'm looking for red and yellow. Oh, I took a red cup, sorry. Thank you. Oh, it has full of blue stars. I can't do anything with those. They're going to have to go back in. Unless you want to share stars, you can share if you want. Well, these are hard to pick up, so you could work on more skills. Because you need to have a good hint or grip to pick these little ones up. So I got these blue ones, so I might say, these are for you. It could be a social communication. And these, you can have this entire cup. So we can share as well. Sharing is caring. Zara wins. <laughs> I might, win. I might oh. get a red one. I've got a lot. I've got my red constellation is done too. And if I pick up the screen, then I can complete the last constellation. There we go. So we have two winners. Everyone wins. Yay. And everyone grins. So that's it for Pop the Rocket. Pretty cute. Again, some little adaptations we would have to make to use it for speech and language. Number one, star means roll again. Um, 
instead of putting all the stars in at once, we would have to earn the stars and then put them in the rocket. And the cups, you could work on the c sound if you wanted to, because we did say the word cup quite a bit. And if we can work on S blends. So when the cups are upside down, you could stand up the cups. Or stack. Mm -hmm. And the stars, of course. And then I would make sure not to pull the fuse out all the way is the other adaptation that we'd have to make because otherwise it would take too long and we can't pull the fuse and then wait and try to play the cup and then rolling the dice during the fuse going off because kids would be too distracted and they wouldn't do their work. So don't forget to play with a purpose. Like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Ring the bell. Thanks for watching and, and we'll, we'll see you very soon. soon. Bye for now.